I'm not sure if we have ever met before. My name is Stringfellow Hawk, and I am the captain of Air Wolf. My name is Morella, I am the co-pilot. And I am Dominique Santini, but you can call me Dom for short. I am the communications manager. I know who you lot are. My brother recently introduced me to your show, and it is quite thrilling. Oh yeah, and I also know about what happened to you Gustav. You didn't deserve to be treated the way you were. Your father was very wrong to send you to conversion therapy when there was absolutely nothing wrong with you at all. I know right. Conversion therapy was like hell on earth, and because of my experience I turned into a troublemaker. When I found out about what Gustav went through, I cried my eyes out. No really, I did. Well I am sorry to hear about that. Say, how about a ride in Airwolf? Maybe that will help you take your mind off it. You know what? That's a marvelous idea. I always wanted to have a ride in a helicopter. So did I. This will be so fun. Well, that's a silly question. All right, we'll just do some checks and then we will take off. <sighs> ah great, a hosepipe ban. Just what we needed. The last two years and this year have been shit already with the pandemic, the invasion of Ukraine, the monkeypox outbreak and the cost of living crisis. Can things get any worse? Well, unfortunately, things will always find a way to get worse. But let's just be thankful that the hosepipe ban is only temporary, and it's not like they were doing anything to enforce it. That's easy for you to say, if you want to risk a £1,000 fine, be my guest. It's just as easy to water your plants with a watering can. Well, what if I told you that I have a way to use a hose pipe without getting caught? Really? What is it? Well, we shouldn't really be talking about it out here. You will have to come with me to my house so that we can do it in secret. Um, okay. Good. Now I just need you to follow me. Ha <laughs> ha. Just wait until he sees what I have in store for him when we get back to my house. What was that? Oh, nothing. Now follow me like a good boy. Oh dear, I don't like the look of this. Why did you take me down to a dungeon? Well think about it. The last thing we want is for us to get a 1000 pound fine, so I figured I will show you the technique down here where we won't get caught. Well, I guess that makes sense. Good. Okay, now I need you to turn around. Um, why? Do you want to bypass the hose pipe then or not? Yes. Then turn around. Okay, but I don't see how turning around would help you bypass a hose pipe then. Ow. Hey, what the hell was that for? Huh? You really thought that I had a way to bypass the hose pipe ban? You are so gullible. In reality I brought you here to torture you to death. Why are you doing this? Because I hate children and teenagers. I love torturing and abusing them for fun. It's what I do best. And don't even think about trying to escape because all the doors are locked and there is no way out. <laughs> you sick bully, you won't get away with this. Oh yay, and who's going to stop me? Okay, that's all the checks done. Now if you would like to make your way into the helicopter and we will take off. Thank God I found you, I need your help. What is it Jenica Smith? Something terrible just happened. Constance Cauldron has kidnapped a teenager and I don't know what she's planning to do to him, but whatever it is it's not good. Oh no, not again. Constance has kidnapped children in the past, and now she's doing it again? She never learns. Don't worry, we're trained for this kind of situation, and we'll take care of it. Well, it looks like we have a mission. And that is to rescue a teenager from the clutches of Constance Cauldron. Who's with me? We're with you on this one. We too are trained for this situation and we will see to it that the evil witch will never get away with her felonious act. Come on people, we have no time to lose. I'm right behind you Callum.
set a course for Constance's house. We should be there within the next few minutes. Roger that. I will call the members of the cult of the White Dragon and I will tell them to meet with us at the house. You flew here in Airwolf? No way. I thought Airwolf was long forgotten. I used to watch that show when I was a kid. After it was cancelled I never thought I would see Airwolf again. But clearly I was wrong. Never say never. Enough chit chat. Right now we have a teenager who needs our assistance. We need to break into the house extract him and get him to safety. Lock the door is not using one of the best locks you can possibly get. How are we going to get him? Use your head. But I don't want to use my head. What was that crashing sound? Probably just construction workers. Now what was I going to say? Oh yes, of course, I've been toying with you all this time. Inflicting punch after punch, kick after kick, to make sure you go through every pain possible. I could finish you off whenever I like, and that is exactly what I am going to do now. Any last words? No, please, I'm too young to die. Begging isn't going to change anything. Now say goodbye to your pathetic life. Not today Constance Cauldron. What the hell? Okno IVB and Foiled. That's right you wicked witch. Cry like a motor car all you want. It's over. You've lost. Alec, are you okay? Can you get up? Unfortunately I cannot. I am in too much pain right now. Constance beat me so hard. I think most of my bones are broken. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, this is worse than I thought. Don't worry Alec, we'll get you to hospital. And whilst you two, John Aquea, Gustav and Abraham do that, we'll keep Constance where she is until the police arrive. You got it Sabrina. Come on, let's get Alec to Airwolf so that he can be airlifted to hospital. Is everyone on board? Yes, but by the looks of it Alec is severely injured. We don't know the exact extent of his injuries but it looks quite severe. Well in that case, we will have to fly as smoothly as we possibly can. We will set a course for Vion Hospital. You'll never win Constance. We'll always be here to stop you. You're right on saying that I have not won, but what you didn't say is that I haven't won yet. Haven't won yet? What do you mean by that? <coughs> <coughs> you adamantium wannabes thought you could beat me? Well, you thought wrong. You ain't even close to being the adamantiums, you're just a bunch of kids who try to be heroes. No one defeats the mighty Constance Cauldron. So long, suckers. <laughs> what the hell? She got away using some kind of smoke. And she even called us adamantium wannabes. We're not ripping off the adamantiums, not by a long shot. We're our own heroic group, although we're good friends with the adamantiums. I agree with Harley. It's not like we're a cheap pound shop knockoff of Transformers toys. Constance got away using a broomstick, and there is no doubt that she is probably after Airwolf. Little does she know that I'm a witch myself and I have a broomstick. Prepare yourself Constance, because you are about to feel the wrath of Sabrina Spellman. Be careful out there. What Constance did was absolutely horrific. I know that Alec is a troublemaker but even he didn't deserve the experience he went through. I know right. 
I mean I used to be a troublemaker myself, but only because I was sent to conversion therapy just for dating a man. And I was pushed around and bullied by my father. This kind of reminds me of the time that Lamar got a punishment day on his birthday by his parents. He may be a troublemaker but even troublemakers bleed the same blood as us. And this isn't the first time I helped rescue a troublemaker. Me and the Adam Tiams rescued Viley from the abandoned house when the Alana Tiams trapped her in there, and we also had to break into Huntington Hall to rescue Dylan. The Alana Tiams always prey on younger troublemakers who aren't as bad as them. Well, at least Constance is going to prison now. I'm getting an incoming transmission from an unknown source. You should probably check it out, it might be a glitch transmission from air traffic control. Good point Marilla. Sabrina spum into Airwolf. Do you copy? Yes, Sabrina. We read you loud and clear. Well, unfortunately, Constance Cauldron has escaped. We tried to keep her pinned down until the police arrived, but she used some sort of smoke bomb to incapacitate us. She even escaped on a broomstick and if I didn't know any better, I say she is probably after you. Oh no, this isn't good. I sort of knew this kind of thing would happen, because she got really angry when me and the Adam and Tiams rescued Megan from her. So, you thought you could outrun me, well Airwolf, you are sadly mistaken. I hadn't forgotten about the time the Adamantium took my adoptive daughter away from me, and I certainly won't let you take Alec. Hand him over right now. Never. We'll never let this teenager into your clutches. You've hurt enough people already. Now back off before you get into more trouble than you are already in right now. You heard Callum, be gone or you're gonna get it. Fine, if you won't give up Alec willingly, then I'll have to take him by force. Not so fast Constance. Who said that? Did you miss me? Get out of here Sabrina, this is none of your concern. And besides, you're only a teenage witch, you are nothing but a weak fairy. Oh yeah? I have stronger magic than you think. Okay Airwolf, I'm about to use my magic here. So make sure you hold on tight. And what magic is that exactly? I'm going to get you into firing position so that you can shoot down Constance without hurting Alec. Roger that. You heard Sabrina, hold on tight. You've had your fun Constance, now prepare to be vanquished. <laughs> Wait a second, I can't control my broom. It's like you're controlling it remotely. What are you doing? Something that should have been done a long time ago. You are now in range. Fire blow. Roger that. Preparing to fire. And I'll say it for you. Target confirmed hit. Constance Cauldron is down. We did it everyone. Ding dong the witch is dead. Good job Sabrina. Those were remarkable skills. Well, I'm glad I could help. I am a witch after all, but a good witch luckily. Say, do you think that Constance will survive the fall? Actually, there's a little surprise waiting for her at the bottom. I'm not going to spill the beans. But I think I might know what that is. I think I might know as well. It's over Constance, you've lost, for real this time. And don't even think about trying to escape using your smoke bombs again, because they will have no effect on us since we have masks on. Constance Cauldron, you are under arrest for abduction and aggravated assault. You do not need to say anything, but it may harm your defense if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say will be given in evidence. And I would have gotten away with it if it hadn't been for you meddling kids. When I get out of prison, and I will, there's gonna be carnage. That's enough Cletus Cassidy. Now get this motherfucker to prison where she belongs. Right away sir. I don't think we have ever met before. My name is Hank Anderson. And I am Connor. I am the android sent by Cyberlife. I believe you people are the cult of the White Dragon. We are indeed. And we already know who you are. You two are the main protagonist from a video game called Detroit Become Human. That is correct. 
And don't forget that Marcus and Kara are as well. Well I suppose we had better be on our way now. Being a police officer sure is hard work, especially in the land of beyond with all these thugs living here. Stay safe out there. Likewise. See you both soon. Constance Eunice Cauldron, words cannot even begin to describe how furious I am with you right now. I cannot believe you had the audacity to kidnap that boy and torture him in the most brutal way possible. Thanks to you. He is now in hospital and I now have to pay the hospital bill which costs more than our house. Not to mention that this isn't the first time you kidnapped someone, a while ago you kidnapped another boy along with your rotten friends and later on kidnapped a bunch of kids pretending to give them sweets like the child snatcher from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. True Alec may be a troublemaker, but even he isn't as bad as you. I agree with her. I may be a troublemaker myself, but even I have my standards. This kind of reminds me of the time that Lamar's parents gave Lamar a really harsh punishment day on his birthday. The Trixie Squad and the Flying Eagles may not be the best of friends, but I was absolutely horrified and disgusted when I saw that horrible video. Not even someone like Lord Zed from Mighty Morphing Power Rangers would do something as heartless as what you did. You really make him seem like a superhero. That's it. You are grounded until Thunderbird starts using puppets again like it did in the old days. And while you are grounded, you will be eating nothing but lumpy potatoes for every meal. Actually, not only will you eat lumpy potatoes, but you will also eat maggots as well. Oh no, not maggots as well. It's bad enough that I have to eat lumpy potatoes, but also eating maggots will make things a lot worse. My stomach will hurt even more. I don't give a Godzilla size monkeys. Now go sleep on your bed, you disgusting woman. Wow. Man, I cannot believe that Constance did this to you. Not even I would do something as cruel and heartless as what she did. I wouldn't do it to anyone, let alone my friend. So how did you end up meeting Constance anyway? Well, I was reading the newspaper and I was complaining about the hosepipe ban. And then she came out of the blue and told me that she had a way to dodge the hosepipe ban. And like a fool, I believed her and I followed her back to her house. She then took me into her dungeon and beat me senselessly with a baseball bat. Well it's admirable that you want to circumvent the hosepipe ban and you're worried about your plants dying, but you should not trust an Alanistium. What you've got to realize is, is that the Alanistiums always prey on younger troublemakers. I mean just look at what happened to Viley and Dylan. And plus the fact that the hosepipe ban is only temporary. Hopefully we should get some rain within the next few weeks and it will be lifted and we can put it all behind us. There's just so many bad things that have happened in the last two years. The coronavirus pandemic, the monkeypox outbreak, the invasion of Ukraine, the cost of living crisis, inflations, the death of meatloaf, your death, and of course the drought. I have a feeling that the world is coming to an end. Don't say things like that. True these last two years haven't been overly great but that doesn't mean the apocalypse is happening. Yes, a lot of bad things have happened, but good things have also happened, like the PS5, the COVID vaccine, Tobey Maguire returning as Spider-Man, Boris Johnson quitting, Adam Hughes the movie and Callum Rockley joining the land of beyond. Trixie is right Alec. The world isn't coming to an end, we will get through this together, and we'll always be here for you no matter what. As Jim Gordon said to Bruce Wayne, no matter how dark and scary the world might seem right now, there will be light. Well, I suppose you do have a point. And Meatloaf may be dead, but I have actually met him in heaven. He is a really nice man and he said that he is glad that you enjoy his songs. Wow, it must have been exciting to have met Meatloaf. Oh it was. And he also said that he is flying high like a bat out of hell. Thank you ever so much for rescuing my dear friend. I may be a troublemaker myself, but what Constance Cauldron did was just horrific even for someone like me. It's no problem, Max. This isn't the first time I was involved in rescuing a troublemaker. Me and the Adamantiums rescued Wiley from the abandoned house when we were new here and later on had to rescue Dylan from the Alanis Tiams. Well, Sabrina, I must say, you did a great job helping us take out our target and we were heavily impressed with your skills. 
Would you like to join the Airwolf crew? I appreciate the offer but no thank you. My place is within the cult of the White Dragon. That's fine, I understand. Well, it's been nice to see you but I suppose we had better let Alec rest up. Let us know if you need anything. Will do. Stay safe and we will see you all next time. See you later. I don't know about you Trixie, but I'm not in the mood to rob that supermarket. Surprisingly, I'm not either. Normally I would call in the rest of the members of the Trixie squad and raid that place but I just don't feel like it right now. Let's just go home and watch Netflix. Yeah, good idea. This video is dedicated to my brother Kirk. He is the one who introduced me to Airwolf not long ago, and I enjoyed the show so much I decided to introduce Airwolf to the land of Viand. Hi, I'm Kirk. I am the older brother of Callum Rockley in the real world. My voice will be Brian. And I think it's only right that Kirk has the honor of ending this video. With pleasure. We hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, comment like and subscribe, and we'll see you all next time. This is Kirk and Callum Rockley signing off.